Good morning, everyone. 7.30, and this is the Tuesday LA time, and this is good morning class to restore your breath, mobilize your joints, and make you feel good. As usual, we start in our sitting position. If you can't sit in cross-leg position, you can just find a comfortable position. stool or bench make sure it's not uh, movable and you're not gonna falling off and you're not gonna injure yourself there's the class about to not injure yourself and restore your health as usual we need two bands it's a mini band all different tightness uh, highly recommend start with the medium and see how they go make sure you feel a little bit challenge and restrictions all the time uh, In the long band, I use usually like 15 pounds, and for more heavier exercise, I use up to 150 pounds. It depends on you. And of course, water. And we start our class. Usually we start with the breath. So try to pull yourself up. Try to sit on both glutes. If you don't feel it, try to scoop your arm and push that down. muscles up pull them up and let it go and see how you feel keep pulling yourself up try to drop your shoulders relax that shoulder if you feel any tension in your body take a couple deep breath try to extend your chest forward and let it go a couple more try to let it go all your tension inhale and exhale and try to pull yourself more see if this is possible if this give you a little bit more kind of motion and now we're gonna start breathe 360 the idea is extend our muscle to all different directions forward sides and back if you don't feel it place your both hands on the stomach and just breathe forward Most people breathe up. See how the both side work left and right. And when you excel, apply a little bit of pressure and pull your stomach in. You're breathing through the nose, if you can, through the mouth then. Place your both hands on the side of your body and start breathe to the side, left and right. See if you feel a good push to the sides. really good next one we're gonna do a little bit detoxation of our body and stress relief so what we're doing here you just gonna start tapping right in the chest with your left arm and the right uh, right arm two fingers to tip like index finger and middle finger and you start tapping right on the top of your head just like that keep pulling yourself up and keep tapping keep tapping now so our both hands coming to a temple bone it's right in here in this area in front and you just start tapping very gently up and down up and down Waking your senses up. The next one, jaw. We're going to work a lot with our jaw. So just like right in this, I forgot, masseter bone. So you just tap it around. TMJ, people grinding teeth constantly because stress. The head is jammed. It's all connected. Tap it around. 
Not around your eyes. You're going to see a lot today. Tapping around. Now you're going to use the two thumbs and you're going to go right under your, like right in here with the eye connected kind of together <laughs> in that nasal bone. You just push and find that kind of little kind of bumpy stuff. So you kind of push a little bit up. Be gentle here, really gentle with your eyes and see. Now push and if you experience a little soreness, kind of massage it around. If you feel good, also massage it. Really good. And release. Now we're going to find that chin, right where the chin and teeth is. It's another spot. You're going to push right in that spot, okay? Push right in that jaw. Couple seconds more. If any painful sensation, do lighter on back up, okay? This is really good. And we're going to return to our breath. We're going to do counted breath. We're going to count on four. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, and inhale. Let's begin. Prepare yourself. Push yourself up. And inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale and continue in your rhythm. Focus on your count and keep pull yourself up. And do one more cycle. And relax. Let it go your arms. And observe for a couple seconds. How do you feel right now? Is there any changes in your body? Maybe not. It's all good. It's no negative or positive. in that specific exercise. Okay, now we're gonna use our pinky for left nostril and big thumb for the right. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, for the, for the right nostril. So the pinky coming right on the left and you inhale through your right. Close with your big thumb and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Lock with your pinky and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Lock it. Exhale through the left. Now continue in your rhythm. couple more 
I know it feels good. It's making you more focused, balanced. Let it go your arms and start slowly turning your head left and right. See if any discomfort today. Try to pull your chest more up. Don't be rounded. See if any pain present. If you do, if you're like right in here and it's painful, just back up and do a couple breaths. And see if you can turn more. Now up and down. Up and down. Now place your both hands on the chest and start pull your head up, stretch that, not a stretch, pull that fascia. Open this up. Pull, pull, pull. We need that neck. We need to turn around. Good. Excellent. And next one, we're going to do chin tuck. You're going to use the right hand and use like a fork. See that fork up here? Place right on your chin. And the other arm, the left one, is still pushing on your chest. And what you're doing here, try to pull your chin and try to tuck towards your sternum, towards your chest. Now switch arm and see how's that feel because sometimes you feel discomfort in your shoulder. And if you switch arms and you don't feel that discomfort, it might be something dysfunction in your shoulder. You need to take a look on that also. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our shoulders. Shrugging, shrugging and pull your shoulders towards your ear and drop it down. Activate your lats, activate your breathing muscle. Also breathe. Keep going, create that heat. Activate your shoulders. Release that stress. You're always holding the bag behind you. It's no bag up there, so drop it. Perfect, let it go. See how's that feel. Maybe shake your hands. Now place your both hands on the shoulder and start to slow rotation forward. Make sure you activate your muscle between your shoulder blades and your chest and you keep pulling forward. Try to keep your head straight. Look in front of you. And now go other way backward pull it up open your chest squeeze that shoulder blades feel the muscle activate them really good excellent the next one we're going to place our hands parallel to the ground the palms looking inside the room so away from you and now you're going to start do small circle and all the time you increase this the radius of circle and you can go a little bit more and the idea is is use your shoulder blades and feel that scapula is sliding under your rib cage and this is the important and now go backward a couple more if you experience pain back up that's the rule of the class no pain no pain if pain it's does dysfunction so and release, shake it up, see how's it feel, okay? We did good work with our shoulders. Now we're gonna do our thoracic area chest. The idea is make that really flexible, mobile. Now place your both hands on the knee and start push yourself forward and backward, round like a cat. So inhale, pull forward and exhale, round your back. Maybe rotate your shoulders in too. Try to pull them forward and round it back when you pull yourself forward. Backward in, forward up. Continue. 
Make sure your head is not bowing and you look f- straight. Mm-hmm. It's only thoracic working right now. Don't try to go through your lumbar too. Because people start bowing. Push yourself up. Keep going. This is important. Really good. And relax. Now we're going to reach our arms up. We're not looking up yet. Look in front of us. See how's that feel. And drop your shoulders up and down. See if we can able to do that. Make sure your head is still on the same level. We don't. We just move our shoulders up and down. And imitate you pull yourself on the ladder. You look in front of yourself. You don't look up. Now turn your head and look up and see any difference if any pain comes up pull up and now both arms is coming up you look you're still looking up you pull yourself more 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 pull 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 the right arms drop on the side walk a little bit further and lean to that side I'm stay here I'm looking up and I'm breathing And I'm leaning more and more every day. And now slowly push yourself up. Reach up again. Look up. Pull up. The left arm is coming on the side. I'm walk a little bit further. Lean to the side and look up. And try to pull and breathe. And slowly push yourself up. Make sure you don't push to the limit. We don't need pain here. Now, right hand come behind your uh, right hip. Left arm is coming on the right knee. And go ahead and do a little twist and look behind you. We're twisting only our upper body. We don't twist our lower back and just look behind you. And switch side slowly. Left is come behind your left hip. The right arm on the left knee create that contour force, a little spinning. And you just look behind you. Gently look. You don't move your hips, just the upper body. Try to look and release. See how that feel and prepare yourself for lay down on your back position. As usual, I'm sitting, grab my both knee, pull myself in that kind of balancing position and roll myself down slowly on my back. This is how safely you go on your back. All right. Our, he- our legs in 90-90 position as usual. Our arms is coming up and we start breathe up here. Take a couple deep breath. Through your stomach, extend forward. And exhale, pull your stomach in, up, and down, up, and down. A couple more. If you're not able to do that, find some couch or stool, place your hands on the top and breathe, maybe for one minute. But we don't have that time. And we start doing our favorite dead bug. You lower your left arm and right leg. Hold here. Don't touch the ground. Make sure your scapula, your shoulders on the ground, on the ground, on the mat. See how's it feel. You feel stable. Return to this neutral position. And switch side. The left is going down the leg and arm, right arm. Hold it. And see how you feel. Maybe play with your ankles. Squeeze your glutes. And return to neutral position. And now, a little bit faster. Keep switching sides. Squeeze your glutes all the time. Keep going.
And now place your hands together, your knee together, and extend them both at the same time. Extend and see how you feel. Squeeze your glutes. Hold. If you can, because the shoulder pain, hold it right here. The idea is activate your core and keep going now. So extend both at the same time. Really good. Couple more. Now extend all the way down. Stretch yourself, pull, and see how your spine feel. Does it feel equally on the floor? Maybe one side is more. Have a space between your spine and your lower back. Now, your arms come in on the stomach, and as usual, we need to do that. Every day we need to feel we don't have a lot of tension in our abdominal area, in our stomach. It's really important to keep that pain-free zone. Go a little bit under your ribs. Work under. Maybe place your hands on the rib like you're doing right now and take a deep breath. See if any pain comes up, maybe in lower back, maybe in your hip. And release. Switch side. Place under your right. And you know it's it's really a miracle how we connect it. I'm touching my stomach, breathing. And when I'm exhale, I feel a little discomfort in my lower back. This is how connected. So my right side is have some issue and it's connected to my lower back. And if I be come to like therapist, massage therapist, I will probably ask him to work on my lower back. But now you know sometimes the place, the pain, you don't need to chase the pain. You need to find the causes of the pain and go from there. Go deep to the roots. Okay? Release it and bring your knee close to your body and roll yourself a couple times. Massage your spine and roll yourself up. Find your long band. Today we're going to do star and place on your both foot. Okay? You never do exercise towards your face towards your eyes if you do you have to put the glasses most of our exercise without any risk to be injured so this is important now you stay in this 90 90 position and hold the band like a little square up here and what you're doing here you're not trying to extend it to the side and up and down so all directions all directions see how that feel make sure you feel good tension in the band really good and now we're gonna start do our star we're gonna spread wide almost to the ground and let me move my water away always keep the water close so extend and see how's that feel And the one more, and all the way down, all the way down. Extend and stay here. See how that everything feel. Is that your spine equally? Maybe some pressure in one side more than other. Just breathe up here. Take a couple deep breath. <sighs> yes, I feel in my left side. It's kind of more tension in my right. And now we're gonna do twist. The upper body is just going turn. The, the lower body stay on the ground like a freeze it. And you're gonna look through, the, through your left, push your left arm down and twist and look up and see how they feel. Only use your upper body. 
The lower body is on the floor. Rolling exercise is really important to balancing your spine. If we have a little twist in our spine, that will do it. The both, the both turning muscle have to be active. Most of the time is not. The cross patterns, this is important. Okay. From this position we return to neutral position. Remove the band. Grab our knee and roll ourselves up. Roll ourselves up. And from here we start to do our favorite exercise. The first one is going to be the scissors. We do vertical. So our motion is vertical. You can, lay, uh, you can lay down on the floor if you're too weak. If not, you just place your hands behind your body, behind your butt, and you just load yourself in this nice angle and start move your legs vertically up and down. Create good angle and keep going. Just feel good, keep breathing, don't forget to breathe. It's important. And relax, really go. See how you feel. Feel amazing. I feel that heat. I feel this energy vibration in my hip. Now I want to spread them around. Heal all my body with this energy. And now we return. This time we're going to go cross. Horizontal. Left to right. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes. You activate your core. And if you're tired, you can go up here. Keep going. And relax. Let it go. See how you feel. Move your butt up and down. Like switch the weight from left to right. And see what's the easy to sit. Easy to sit on my left. And really hard to sit on my right. It's kind of create discomfort. That's mean I'm sitting not equally. And it shift my hips, my ilium, and create a lot of discomfort in my SI joint. That's the thing. All right. Now we return, and this time we're going to bring this knee towards our body, as usual. But today we're going to bonus round here, so I think you guys are so excited. Keep pulling that knee towards your body, shifting your weights. A little bit maybe faster. See how you feel. And let it go. Keep breathing. Oh, wow. Feel great. Feel all this come from your chest. One more round. This one, we're going to drop our both hand legs left and right side. Mm -hmm. You can lay down on your back if you're tired or you keep your arms behind you and here we go. Left and right, left and right, left and right. And relax, find yourself on your stomach. Lay down on your stomach, place your both hands under your forehead, attach it. I can't do it because of the microphone, but you guys go ahead and push that forehead towards your arms and take a big inhale through your stomach and raise your stomach up. Pull, push, 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 push that stomach up, 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 and exhale, pull in. Keep push your head towards your hands like this. If 
If you do feel discomfort in your lower back, be careful here. Easy. And next time, you can just stay here by yourself for, for two minutes, 90 seconds, let's say, and breathe very slowly and deep. It's a great exercise to release your lower back tension. Keep breathing. Excellent. Now, you place your both hands close to your chest. Prepare yourself for the cobra. Your head is still on the ground. I can't do it because microphone. And now you're going to start raising your head up. Try to look up. Push your spine up. And lower back is go a little bit up too. You stay here and breathe. If you can, if you weigh here, that's also good. Whatever you can go without pain and discomfort. You stay here and breathe. Try to look up. And now slowly, slowly, vertebra by vertebra, go down. The lumbar is going first. Now chest is going first. I mean second. And now my neck, I touch the ground, my forehead again. And now I'm raised up again. Look up, inhale, and exhale. Lower myself down. Touch the ground. And go a little bit quicker. really good feel it feel great now our arms okay it's gonna be I need to take a microphone so here we go one arm one arm is coming on your forehead I mean on your occipital area behind you your head is touching the ground but but your other arm is on your butt right behind your lower back and what you're doing here, you just start switching them. And you switch this arm. If you can, if you like something discomfort, see if any, like, limitate you. Like, let's say I'm coming up here. I can. I need to turn somehow to get here. So try to go straight. Keep kicking my water up there. Your head is touching the ground. If you want more, you push yourself more and do that kind of stuff. Keep squeezing your glutes. Really good. Let me turn my microphone back. A couple more and let it go. Release. Now find your long band and stretch right in front of you. You can use two strap on one strap. It doesn't matter. Like I said, make sure you feel that tension in your arms all the time the idea is is pulling that band stretch that band in front of you and push yourself up activate your lower back muscle and glutes pull inhale exhale couple more relax see how's that feel now the band is coming right behind you so place the band behind your butt and grab this way so the palms is up and the band inside your palms inside your fist now from here you pull yourself up and stretch this band to the side Pull yourself up, squeeze your glutes, stretch the band behind you. If you can, just to up here to the side, maybe one arm, try. But the idea is push yourself up and pull that band to the side. Great exercise. Excellent. There we go. Now your forehead is touched the ground completely. And from here, what you're doing here, drop the band. You start raising your arm up. And see, see the idea is my head is touching the ground, so my shoulder is going to be locked. The idea is try to extend this arm to at least 50 degrees, not at least 50 degrees. And if it's if impossible, that's mean we got limitation. It's really good to do it with a partner, but 
If you're by yourself, just do that. Your head is always touched the ground. I can't because microphone. And so I have to correct this later. All right, perfect. Really good. Now our favorite exercise, Partizan. We're going to shift weights. Our one arm is coming forward. Let me go back to the mat in front of us. Completely flat on the ground. The other arm is close to the chest. And my left leg is coming up towards that elbow. And now from this position, I'm staying here and I'm switch. I'm shifted my left arm and right leg. So it's a cross pattern. And now from here, I'm start switching. See if I can stay low and look always forward. I'm not doing this. I'm just stay here and switch it. But it's all kind of variation. Yes, you can look this way and turn. It's create more power because you also use your hips and I mean use everything, but plus you use your vision. It's a really powerful tool too. Don't forget about this one. Switching. Really good and relax. Now we extend our arms in front of us, legs, and shake your legs up and down like you're swimming. Like you're swimming on that nice, beautiful orange bubble, whatever. The duck. And you extend your arms forward and start doing swimming up and down. You do swimmer now, you're swimming. Keep going, keep pull yourself up. Up and down. Keep breathing and keep swimming. And lower down, push your head down. Do a couple crocodile breath, you already know how to do it. See that tension in your lower back. Why? Because the glutes is not working. So we activate our glutes all the time. Extend your arms forward again and start swimming again. Keep swimming. Feel great. Pull yourself more. And let it go. Relax your arms. Get close to your chest. Push yourself to the tabletop position. And go all the way down to the child pose. Spread your knee wider. And each breath you're going down and down. I'm going to remove my mic because I really want to do that. Slowly, slowly pull yourself up to this tabletop position. And we'll do a couple cut, cat, and cow. Here we go. And you're going to start looking up and connect your butt to your head. Look up. Make sure you not shift your hips, anything like that. And now round like a cat. Pull your stomach in. Do a couple more, slow, and increase speed after. Pull, pull your stomach in, squeeze everything. Hold, hold, hold. And inhale again. Pull yourself up more, hold. 
Try to shift your hips a little bit forward. See how's that feel. And one more time. Exhale. Pull everything in. And release. See how's that feel. Feel a lot of vibration right now in my body. Feel amazing. All right. I will spread our fingers wide. Step with our right foot. Back. Push yourself to this half half down face dog step with your left one down face dog walk your dog now push your chest more towards your knees and from this position we slowly start shifting forward right on your arms if this is too much for you skip that part and go back and shift forward and go back and shift forward go back forward a couple more and when you push yourself more up the down back back to down face dog you raise your right foot up and shift forward to the lounge, don't drop it. Go back up and go forward. Lower down, rise your left foot up and same thing five times. And now push back to down face dog, walk your dog. You can jump forward or just walk your arms towards your legs. Now you're gonna hang it up here. Like I said, if this is too much for you, skip that part. Now slowly, slowly raise yourself up. Now look up, oh, I have to go back. So right in here, I slowly pulling myself up. I'm reaching up, stay in my both toes. So if you skip that part, this is, you can come back now with us. Hold it and release. So if you experience pain to go in forward, just stay up here, whatever you feel and breathe. If I go down, no problem. I go down more and more till I can go touch the ground, whatever I can touch. Now slowly go up again, feel great. I'm more active now and release. Here we go, go back to mat. We need to work on our hips. So I go up. I place my hands down and step to this plank position. Stay in plank position, push myself up to down face dog walk my dog again and raise my right foot up step forward and lean forward you see i extend my leg now my arms both on the ground and what i'm doing here i'm just trying to push that hip to the side if you hear you hear if you experience knee pain step away hold it Mm -hmm. So I push that knee to the side. I can lean more forward, drop my elbow. This is more advanced. Just be careful with yourself. Never experience pain or discomfort during this exercise. Little discomfort, maybe it's okay. And now look down. Your left arm is on the ground. The right is coming up. You twist and you look up. and breathe now your arm is going down you look down forward step forward and lean forward really good slowly raise yourself up look up reach up drop your arms back down slowly vertebra by vertebra great touch the 
ground with your head, I mean head, legs, arms, sorry, step back, and push yourself to down face dog, it's really hard to do and talk sometimes, walk your dog, the left one is coming up, and step forward, lean forward, now you see what I'm doing, I'm push my left knee to the side, and mobilize my hip. How we doing up there? Good. We have some. We have David behind the camera, and he looks like really struggling up there. How's it feel? Good. All right, but he's doing good. I can see the big benefits. Sorry. Now I will push my right arm down. Look with my left, and I'm looking up. Stay here. Breathe. Return to neutral, look down, and push yourself up. Lean forward. Kind of bounce, maybe play with you. But idea is go back up. Raise yourself up slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Reach up. Look up. And drop your arms down. Shake yourself up and see how you feel. Really great. Let's find our favorite mini band. We skip this on our back, the mini band. Now we're going to return to mini band. We're going to step inside our foot. Take your time, no rush. And create tension between our legs. And what I'm doing here, I'm just roll my foot in and out. Really good for people who do jumping, running. You need that inversion, eversion of your foot. And I see a lot of weakness. A lot of people walk like this. And that's, that's going to be really serious trauma later. Really good. Now I, I kind of roll like a wiper shield, but I'm always touch my mat. It's kind of, I know feel awkward on your foot David it's on my foot it's lower so on the foot not on the ankle ankle is going to be later here we go now left and right here we go big difference right here we go and now both see how's that feel really good now we're going to do balancing this is called high knee, so you try to pull your knee up, and at the same time, your opposite arm is going up. So you try to like take off your sprinter. Make sure you not shift your hips. The best exercise do in front of the mirror, so you see what you're doing, and you just pull. So you kind of push your hip up. You can push and hold, see if you can do that. Yeah. My hip flexors start active, so I pull maybe balance in, release. Try the other one, see how's that feel. Yeah, my ankle is kind of fighting too right now. Oh yeah, I can see a little bit shifted. Here we go. And now switch. Here we go. So really important to get that high knee. Excellent, couple more and see how's that feel. Now we could do our favorite monster walk, but the band is still on the foot. You're gonna be like say what the heck? But yeah, that's the idea. Get that most stability in your ankles. Here we go. The the long bang is still with me, and I'm start stretching in front of me, look in front of me, walk on my band and stretching my band in my chest area. I do all different type of pulling diagonally, left arm up, right one arm up, neutral from the top, but I'm always looking in front of me. I don't look up, not yet. Keep walking. Oh yeah, I start burning in my glutes. The ankle is fighting, especially the, the left one. Let's create more, more tension, more pulling. 
Okay, pull your band. Feel great. And release, see how you feel. And raise our mini band up. You always bend forward, open, and pull up. Here we go. The band is ready, just right below the knee. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to keep walking. Monster walk. Godzilla. And stretch the band in front of you. <laughs> yeah. David, show me the Godzilla. No one see you anyway, so come on, show it to me. <laughs> How will Godzilla walk? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Godzilla, oh my God. Yeah. There we go. Godzilla coming. There we go. Keep going. Just have a little bit of fun. Oh, yeah. Start burning. Here we go. Stop where you are. Now we're going to readjust our long band. Hands inside. Pull big time inside. You're going to control the band now. Coming right behind your back, under your armpit, and your elbow. And now we're going to do our favorite, the, the puncher. All you do, you keep walking and keep punching in front of you. Rotate this elbow in with this band. Feel that muscle active. Yeah, don't punch up right in front of you. And it's come back to your chick. It's come back to your chin. Right in here. You always protect your chin. You don't want anyone hit your chin. Hit your chin. Bye-bye. Good night. Turn the lights off. Here we go. No one fighting now. People shooting each other. Yeah. For that one, you just need only one muscle, right? But it's no brain. Here we go. You can do both at the same time. So stay away from the violence. Stay away from your anger. The anger creates all this. Keep pushing. Really good. And now up. The idea is... The, my palms is looking up, and I push up, and I look up. But I'm still walking with my monster walk. I keep pushing up. Feel great. I feel my thoracic. It's pulling me up. It's opening my chest. My neck is feel good. And I'm return to neutral position. See how I feel. I feel great. Now let's get our clavicular muscle and our shoulders anterior mid posterior shooter the band still inside my arm grab with this tom just like that extend like i'm shooting make sure you feel good tension my elbow is not down is up and i'm extend my chest forward so i'm not here i'm here and i'm staying one stance my arm and my shoulder stable and i'm start pulling Keep pulling. Now I pull and hold. And what I'm doing here, I am start rotate my shoulder in and out. All different rotation. Now I rotate it. I get that delts. Mm -hmm. So I create this rotation. Wow, that's feel amazing. My shoulders just <laughs> look, it's back to normal. I can do things. The shoulder have to rotate. If your shoulders not rotate, that's dysfunction. Now switch side. My right arm is pushing forward, and that one pull the band parallel. The ground is not looking down or up. You, you extend your chest and you pull. You have to learn how to shoot from both hands, not just one. All right, this is good. Now you pull and do the same thing. Rotate your fist, your shoulder clockwise and other way. Play with that. Now rotate your shoulder in and out. Just like that, yeah, you're gonna feel it. 
in and out. Why? Because when you go that way and resistant bands that activate your traps, your delts, everything. And when you go that way, front, pecs, and scap, subscapula too. It's a lot of muscle up there. Really good. Release and see how you feel. Great. All right. Before we're going to release our mini band, we're going to do our favorite P-Dog. And it's uh, so easy. You just shift weight on one leg and start raise other. You just like a pee on the tree. Raise your leg and let's see how long you can pee. Try to adjust it. See, I'm watching on myself and see how I do it. And I keep going. Oh, I can go left and right. Why not? Three times up here. Three times up here. Right? I'm like, whatever. It looks like a Charlie, no? Okay. Just keep going. You can go straight. You can go up. You can go both. I don't know. Try it everything you want. You play with yourself. It's your time. And you can extend it. Maybe walk a little bit more before you go and release it. And of course, release the band. See how you feel. We did a lot of core, our glutes exercised. Uh, yesterday, we focused on our shoulders and thoracic mobility. I hope you guys feel great. And let's have a sit. Let's close our class. Find yourself in sitting comfortable position. Maybe grab some water. My water far away. Let me grab it. There we go. Get the zip. Mm, nothing delicious than water. Actually, let's talk a little bit about water. So I got this experience of uh, drinking 30 days for clean, clear water. I was in the desert and I get this access to clean, fresh water. That was amazing. Uh, water is really important in our life and drink quality water, it's really important. Yeah, you see the plastic, plastic uh, can? Not a good idea, but I don't have any option today, so sometimes we do. The, uh, the idea is keep the water in, the, in a metal, like, you know, all those big jog from metal, specific metal. I forgot that, uh, latuni or medium. No, not, yeah, stainless steel is probably good, too. And uh, it was a really, really cool movie about how water observe everything, sounds, vibration, and uh, so they put all different music and freeze it and they see difference of the the pattern pattern in the in the ice and it was just amazing and all different music I'm, i don't want to say any about all type of music but the classic was most perfect pattern so the water create perfect pattern that means something right and now guess what we are 80 83 percent of our is water so everything we observe from outside we become this if we constantly get this negative news, negative emotion, negative uh, crazy movies about killing each other, that's what we become. And this is how it is. So you water observe everything. And also all different type of postural. Remember that Bruce Lee said, if you put the water in the cup, it's become cup. If you put it in a teapot, it's teapot, whatever. In a bottle, it's a bottle. So same you. If you every day you're sitting at the computer and doing this movements, you become that, and you can I can see it when you come to the office. This is like, this is how you look, right here or whatever you do. If I ask you, you, I don't know, <laughs> twist it all the time and sitting this way, and everything is become. So the postural, the water, I don't know what's inside you is make you make you be like that because the brain is how they work let me explain this way how they work if they see this muscle is uh contracted more and you use it more they make that more stronger and muscle you don't use you you it's make weaker so that's what create this balance in you with this kind of exercise you try to balance your body and you start more be aware how you're sitting and your postural this is the idea 
All right, so I hope you get some little bit more information, but water is really important, okay? And keep drinking water after class during, the, during your day, probably around, I don't know, uh, around gallon and a half. I think it's a good, good amount of water. Let's start from there. All right, so we're going to place our hands together, create that heat, and move them up and down, create this friction too. Keep your eyes open. Now spread them away, whatever distance you want, and feel this little density, a little tingling in your fingers, maybe some little vibration, something pushing, or it's like sensation you hold the ball Maybe heat, maybe cold, maybe you don't feel anything, it's all good. Now move your hands side to side, left and right, and see how that feel. What do you feel? Keep your eyes open, and now stretch, stretch, move to the side. Now see yourself for today. See your plans for today. Remember who you are. And don't anything and anyone stop you or go you away from your path. You're on your path. Keep going. The prize is there. <laughs> the surprise is there. So see yourself. Let it go, this energy. I place my hands back to my chest. I like to feel my heartbeat. And I take a deep, deep inhale. And let it go. One more time. You can scream if you want. I can't do it. I usually scream, yell, release all my... Sometimes, yeah, we... I mean, this is how I treat my anger. And let it go. Now, I bow to myself to wake up this morning, to take care of it, to take care of my body, and prepare myself for this day. Make sure everything is worked properly. And thank you guys for donation, for subscribe, so subscriptions, and be our, just, just our community. Thanks for joining us. I will see you Thursday, 7.30 in the morning. Enjoy your day. It's going to be hot up there.